I'm doing a 30 minute session. This is a follow up for Linda Love. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking out the previous session. So we're gonna just continue where we left off. I'm gonna read the original goals and then get, get started here. Okay. All right, so Linda Love says, my entire body feels stuck. All of my muscles are tense constantly. My head feels like it's going to explode. My neck, shoulders, and lower back are especially bothersome. I also feel stuck in life. I've been a hairdresser for 16 years. The salon I worked in closed due to virus, and I feel like I should be doing something else now. I had an awakening spiritual experience in 2010 and changed my lifestyle. I need help quitting smoking cigarettes and weeds, my last two vices. <sighs> okay. Now, we had an awesome chakra balancing experience in the last session. So be curious to see how your energy field is looking now. All right. I'm going to relax and, and get connected. Okay. I keep seeing the same image. It looks like copper. And it's kind of almost pinkish in color. Pinkish orange. But they look like um, electric wires. Not wires out, made out of any kind of material. But they're alive. Live wires. And they look like copper wiring. And there's probably a hundred on either side. And so they fan out right at the bottom of your feet. And they only go up maybe um, up to just past your ankles. And they're just kind of these threads, these wires. And they, I just, they're glowing, but it feels like there's electrical movement going through them. There's a pinkish hue to this copper color. And I see that you're standing on a metal grate and it's made out of black. A black metal grate. It's kind of like a, a catwalk in a way that's made out of black metal. And so you're standing here at one part. It doesn't seem to go, it doesn't seem to have an end to it. Like you're just sort of standing in a portion of it. But if we were to kind of move the, the video camera this way, I would be able to see it just continuing to go on. But we're in some kind of place. And these catwalks seem to go across, <laughs> like if I were to, I mean, if I were to draw this out, like just think of a larger square or cube shaped room. And these catwalks go across, let's say the second floor, but their space is in between each one of the catwalks and their sort of handrails. It's almost like a sci-fi movie in a way. Everything's pretty black. I mean, the, the main color is basically black, and then you have these really bright live wires under your feet. These live wires aren't necessarily a healthy balance. I'm still trying to figure out what they mean. You uh, stomp your foot and say, Ugh, I can't do anything right. I just bought these wires. <laughs> they're supposed to change my life. <laughs> it's kind of like an infomercial where they're very convincing. And it's like, yes, I do have 1995. And I will commit six months to getting this product. <laughs> it's kind of like you. It's kind of like this. That these are were some sort of great buy that were going to change your life. But it ended up being just so some kind of gimmick and I say whoa 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 <laughs> I can't help but laugh I'm trying to I'm trying to calm down and get serious here <laughs> it's really cute that I I'm just just having you slow down for a moment let's actually take a look at this let's not let's not just call it a gimmick yet let's just see maybe there was the intention is still here it just wasn't created or fabricated quite right. I mean, we're talking about energy. We could do whatever we want in the energy world. Yeah, this is, this is like, 
It's like somebody took something out of a garbage can and uh, cleaned it and made it look interesting and then sold it on the market. It's not going to work. <laughs> this, this is the energetic intention of this is garbage. Selling garbage. It, and this is at the foundation of your body. This makes me so sad. And I tell you, well, you know what? We have experiences, we make choices, we follow through. And then we have experiences and we make choices and we follow through. So we're just going to make a choice here. Um, now we know we don't need this anymore. So now the choice is to let it go and then see what comes next. You really are looking for a kind of quick fix, like a, a solution really fast, a really fast solution. But your fast solution, you actually need to take the time because you're, you're going to need to get to know yourself as the solution is manifesting for you, okay? So it's not an overnight thing. It's going to be a day by day by day thing, but it's good. It's actually a really good pace. That sounds horrible. I know what you're talking next year. You're talking 10 years from now. Abby, what are you talking? It's like, does not matter? <laughs> what matters is we're not talking that fast. We're talking take the time. Do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. <sighs> There's a reason why it's taking the human race time to go from, you know, the horse to the spaceship. We're just, we weren't ready for the spaceship. Now we're ready for the spaceship. Like we, it's like, we aren't ready for instantaneous change here. We need to work our way towards it as a human race. <clears throat> you got to work your way towards it as an individual as well. Because if you suddenly get that experience that you want, you've missed out on all the, the discoveries about yourself that you actually need. It's it's one of the most annoying messages that the spirit realm is even reminds me about. It's not getting to the top of the mountain, Abby. It's the journey to get there. It's like, oh God, barf. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm just sick of the journey to get to the top of the mountain. Like just get me to the top of the mountain already so I can just finally enjoy my life, right? No, you and you you start today. You enjoy what you have now. You relish in everything that you have created for yourself right now. And you live in that beautiful gift that the old you gave to you today. And then you keep working on the gift. You keep working on yourself so that the future you gets to relish in the gifts that the old you had um, worked so hard to get for the future you. You know what I mean? So that's kind of that's kind of what it's about. So right now I'm, I'm helping your inner layers get, develop a new relationship with time and a new relationship with what, it, what you're wanting to achieve here. It's, a, it's just a different path. It's just a different approach to getting there, okay? I mean, you need an energetic program. <laughs> you, need, you need to wipe the old program out of there and put in a new program. And it's the not quick fix program. And it's actually quite a, a quite benevolent. It's beautiful. It's pure. It's innocent. Kids aren't looking for a quick fix. But maybe they are. I want to be 16 so I can drive a car already. You know, I want to be able to do... I want to be taller so I can look over the, the counter at the grocery store. You know, something like this. I remember being a kid and wanting to be... If maybe I was a year older, I could finally see what's over this counter. <laughs> And then suddenly I'm seeing over the counter and it's like a really weird moment. But your childlike mind isn't really, it isn't really focusing too much time and energy on trying to solve the problem today. It thinks about it, but then goes back to just living, you know? And exploring and discovering. See, that's another thing. Me talking about this, life just does not have that the, the fulfillment. I mean, you need fulfillment. That's part of why you need a solution today because you need fulfillment. And we're talking something really enriching here. Enrichment. 
Life just is not providing enrichment. And that's a, that would be why you're leaning towards cigarettes and weed because in a way it's a quick fix that's providing enrichment right now. And yeah, it's, it's I, I, just talking about it is creating an emotional response. It's a bit of a depression too that, that encourages us to, I mean, it's, there's different types of depressions. This isn't like, this is more the depression that just needs, I just need enrichment. I need enrichment. I need enrichment. I need enrichment. And even if the enrichment is self-destructive, see, that's the depressive nature. It's just kind of bringing you down instead of bringing you up and you don't really care because if you can't find the quick fix that brings you up, because in a way these are bringing you up, but they aren't, they're bringing you down. And you know this, so you're kind of in that middle range. Is that why you're on the black catwalk kind of suspended above the ground in the middle of a cube shaped sci-fi room? with copper coils that are supposed to work but they're just made out of garbage that's just so disappointing isn't it it's like the biggest letdown of all time i'm gonna ask you a question this just came to me it's just an idea okay maybe yes maybe no um i see i saw really quickly a child that was given a promise a really cool promise like by a parent or an aunt uncle something like this and uh, the and your mind was just like exploding with all these exciting ideas about this promise and what it's gonna look like and what it's gonna mean and your heart just like like so happy and so excited and then the promise never happened and never followed through and you kind of stayed in this state of excitement because you just chose to be patient because that that was going to happen for you. This promise was going to happen, you know? It could be as as it could be like going to a baseball game. It could be like going to Disneyland. It, it could be like um going to visit a, a friend that that transferred to a new school and then you never got to see that friend again. It could be something like this. It could be a lot smaller, a lot simpler than our adult minds might perceive it to be. But it was a big deal. In this scene to this child, it was like a really big deal. It was it was thought about for a lot of days and a lot of nights before falling asleep. It was it was daydreamed about, and then time passed and time passed and time passed and the and that never happened and it was just kind of faded out and forgotten about. But that left an impression. I mean, this story this story is coming up for a reason. Because that you waited for enrichment that never came. And so you're still like enrichment isn't going to come. So I need something now. I, I'm not going to wait for it. I need something now. That's pretty hard for me to, I, I mean, I can feel what it's like to be an excited child. So happy, but just, it's like the light fades from the eyes over this one. And, and it's not like it was, it, it totally, um, it's kind of like a little side story, you know? Just a little side story over there amongst many stories. But this one had like really bright eyes and the eyes just kind of faded. And I still, I'm still tapping into this. Like the eye, the light behind the eyes just faded out. This discussion about enrichment is so important. Okay. This is... Okay, so... <laughs> next thing, there's a really nasty looking uh, a person here. They're kind of coming um, from behind the head and then coming up and then coming down. So then you just see right there, right in front of your face. I don't know why it makes me want to laugh. It's like, it's so serious. It's so angry and like serious. I just want to laugh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm trying to calm down here. <laughs> it really is serious. But, uh, I'm trying to match the seriousness. It's not a nice thing, but I can't seem to take it seriously. 
you ever a kid and your parents get really angry and you just start laughing and you're just like, God, stop laughing, stop laughing. I don't know why their faces just look so funny. <laughs> That's kind of what this is like right now. <clears throat> now I'm going to get punished for laughing when I'm just literally, I'm actually terrified and I am i don't mean to be laughing right now. It, this is kind of like one of these weird moments. Right now, I'm just sort of still in this laughing phase here. <sighs> Laughter is definitely good. Laughter is enriching. Laughter is more impressionable and more impactful than getting serious and getting wound up with something that is serious and maybe it needs to just chill out and laugh it is a something though and it, it's just like it kind of lingers and hides in the back of your mind is it an entity <clears throat> or is it a part of yourself, you know? It's all connected to the promise that never happened. The, you know, the, the longing for enrichment, but it's like I need something now. Smoking cigarettes and weeds. Yeah, this, uh, this works for me, but it only brings you down, brings you down again, brings you down. But at least it's something quick. It's right there when you need it. But it isn't getting you to the top of the mountain that you're actually, I mean, that's where your sights are. Something that's enriching and pure and innocent and just benevolent and beautiful and bright and beyond human. You're hungry and starving for it and you're kind of bored with life. You're bored with the world. You're bored. So the next thing I'm going to tell you, so just so you know, that little, that little thing that came out from behind your head, I'm still working on it. These conversations are helping to bring out that part of you and then to introduce that part of you to the conversation. Um, so it's not necessarily an entity. It's more like the frustration or the boredom and the need for enrichment. Again, it comes back to that. It's some aspect of yourself that just... It's kind of at wit's end a bit. Man, I keep thinking of like buying something over the phone for nineteen ninety five. <laughs> Look at this beautiful for night for six payments of nineteen ninety five. <laughs> it's like yes, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like a quick fix. Like it's enrichment. <laughs> for some reason that works. But it's is it real enrichment? You know, yeah, kinda for the human it is. But is it enrichment for the soul? You know. So we got to look at this. Enrichment for the human, or enrichment for the soul. Um, cigarettes, weed, enrichment for the human or enrichment for the soul? I'm going to ask you what, what, you what you think. Technically, it's enriching both <laughs> because all life experiences enrich both. But to get to the Buddha Zen level, <laughs> is it the cigarettes and the weed that are actually going to get you there or is it none of that stuff? You know, is it six payments in 1995 that are going to get you there? Or is it none of that stuff? You know what I mean? This is creating emotions. Again, I feel like a child that was promised something. And I'm just... <sighs> the next part of that story... Where the promise, I waited and waited and waited. It's like, I waited for this and I dreamed and I believed in and the the light went out inside myself and the promise just never followed through. And I started to rely on myself to enrich my life because I wasn't going to believe in any promises that anybody ever has or had. Like... I'm, I'm not going to let that happen again, so you can promise me whatever you want, but I won't believe you. 
and now that puts a you know that just cuts off the lifeline of imagination you know dreaming the joy of daydreaming the joy of getting lost in in believing the possibilities of something exciting you see and y you need that that is life support for the human like you need to be enveloped in dreams you need to dr like get excited create an enriching experience for yourself say okay i'm gonna take a in in one year's time i'm gonna take a carnival cruise and so this i'm gonna need this amount of money and i'm gonna need this much time off work or whatever um in order to make that happen so now six payments in 1995 like i'm just gonna put it in my bank i'm just gonna save 20 bucks um a month or 40 bucks a month or i mean it's whatever i don't know however much it's gonna cost right you're gonna have to figure that out and however long it's gonna take but this is giving yourself a making a promise to yourself and getting excited for that promise and that is going to mend that that's going to mend that and now getting to relish in the future the promise that you made for yourself in the past and now you're living an enriching moment that you gave to yourself and every part of that enriching moment on the carnival cruise or whatever it's going to be for you you know it could just be you know in six months i'm gonna i'm gonna finally i i've got i'm gonna go to the spa for three hours and i'm gonna have this and this and this done so i'm gonna have to save up this amount of money in order to have this like beauty experience and after i get all beautified i'm gonna go take myself to a fancy dinner or something i mean or my friends or my companion and i we're gonna go i'm gonna get myself all pretty and get a nice dress and then i'm gonna go to a nice dinner like you could create a promise for yourself and you have to dedicate yourself to that promise and and you know like don't deviate right like just say 20 bucks a month or 40 bucks a month or something like this and don't deviate you know and then follow through with it say on this date at this time i'm doing it you know start making the arrangements there's something about you need to do these types of things in order to mend that that in that thread from your inner child is just showing me this story okay so somewhere along the way something of this kind did happen and now we need to mend it to create enrichment in your life that's actually meaningful that you work towards now you live in that experience the gift that you gave to yourself and that you worked towards and now you're having this enriching moment that is a beautiful memory and now you can create the next enriching moment like ooh, what am i gonna do next to enrich my life okay and it's like we gotta start somewhere so these are kind of human enriching things right Let's see what your energy field says about this. Hmm. You like it, but something is, you're still, I'm back to this whole catwalk thing. You are literally glued to it. And the copper wires were supposed to help your life move forward and you're still stu stuck as ever and so okay we're gonna have to figure this out all these conversations are part of the solution okay but you do need something else here hmm You, you kind of uh, made a very firm choice somewhere inside yourself that you are putting your foot down and you are not going to move another inch until you get what you want or life becomes enriching or something like this, okay? So, you, I mean, it's, it's like a, a pulse, like, and, but it was loud enough that it's like, I am putting my foot down. No! Until I get this, I am not doing anything else in life. Done. 
<laughs> it's kind of like this. That's what the energy is like. It's like this really intensive pulse that went in every direction and then you were stubborn. And you're not undoing what you said. And I say, well, how do you anticipate then you're going to be able to move on from this? You actually have to undo what you said. Otherwise, you will stay here. Is this enriching, this place? Maybe there's something that there is to discover here. And maybe you need to just be stuck. Maybe life, you need to see the enrichment in life as it is. I mean, there's literally nothing to see in this place. But maybe there's more to see than we're giving it credit for. You know? Maybe you have to look for the beauty. That kind of sucks. It's like, why can't the beauty just be obvious? Why can't it just be accessible? Why can't it just be in my face, right? Because something in your soul wanted you to go find it. Wanted you to see through and past the illusions in order to access true beauty. And it really is a complex um, struggle between human and like a human life and a spiritual life. And wanting the human enriching experiences, but also wanting the awakening spiritual enriching experiences. And you're kind of caught in between them both. It's just and because anything that is humanly enriching is soul enriching. But every, anything that's human damaging is also soul enriching. So you're basically doing everything that is soul enriching, even by living a difficult life. <laughs> that's why it's so weird. We come here to enrich ourselves by being challenged. Enrich our souls. You're starting to loosen up a little bit. You gave up hope. That's another thing. Like, you just don't have much to believe in. And it's like the... Like... Hold on. Let me... I'm trying to find the right words. Because believing in yourself is something you can do. It's like life could be as easy as just go push the, the on button and there's the TV, right? Um, go p get the meal out of the freezer, put it in the microwave, and then put it in for four minutes. Um, you know, go to Amazon and buy some stuff and there it's at your door. Cool, I got some presents. Life can be as easy as this, but is that an enrichment, you know? It's kind of, but let's, let's, I'm going to, I want to talk about this a little bit more. You need more conversation about this. You, you gave up on the heartbeat of life. I mean, that's kind of what this feels like too. So what's interesting is the heartbeat of life is your heartbeat. So you gave up on your own beating heart. So where do you actually exist then? In, in reality or non-reality? In dreams? In non-dreams? Like where do you exist if you give up on the heartbeat of life? You give up on the heartbeat of yourself. And once that happens, where do you exist? You see how ener how you became energetically stuck because you where do you exist? It's fascinating. Like it is. It's so interesting. I'm feeling enriched right now by your story. <laughs> it's like wow. That is a mind bender. We need to write these this stuff down. We need to make a philosophical book about these sites. <laughs> this is really good material here. <laughs> Okay.
It is very, 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 the varies just go forever. Very hard to get you to return to yourself because you have this stubborn side that said, I won't do it until I get something, then I'm not doing it. I need that something and then I will, and then it'll just naturally happen. You you said something to the universe. It was like a prayer or a pact or something. I mean, your some inner self. It could have been in your emotions. You may have no conscious awareness of this, but something happened for you emotionally. Some inner self said this inside your heart um, that I'm I'm done until I get something. This something, which it has something to do with enrichment then I'm, there's nothing to live for. Then I, there's no purpose. There's no meaning. There's, it's, it's something like this and it's very stubborn. And the thing is the universe is 10,000 times more stubborn than you'll ever be. That's why you need to get over yourself <laughs> or it's going to be forever. The universe will win this one. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I've tried myself. Just, just let it go. <laughs> You are returning to yourself. It is something to do with your inner child again. But this is more like a teenage you. She's coming back. She needs someone to just talk to her uh, intelligently and with sophistication and help her understand herself because she she's returning to the body and it's just like her lights coming back on her eyes are opening um i she was sitting down this whole time apparently cuz the scene is now you're sitting down but you're like coming to to light you're the light within is getting brighter which is you coming to life as well and you want to leave this place so that sticky thing was some kind of weird um, entity. <laughs> it was. It's like had weird tentacly things, and it just um took itself off your foot. Um, and now you're just walking out. You're so. You're. I mean, you're like highlighted. I mean, you have gl like glowing blonde hair. You have extremely tan skin. You have like you're you're ultra colored. You're just so like you look ultra. I don't know. I mean, and you have massive hair. Like Dolly Parton would be jealous. Like it's huge. <laughs> you kind of look really awesome. I mean, you're wearing this tight kind of sci-fi getup. There's something about pure black and pure white. Um in stripes or something in leather and it's glossy and you look like you're gonna go fight some kind of alien on some other planet i mean and you have all this huge blonde hair everywhere and you're like super tan you look like a an, a gladiator from another time and place from the 80s <laughs> but you look really rad i mean you look really cool <laughs> you do You're kind of sad that you let yourself do this to yourself. <sighs> you have a good head on your shoulders. Because once once you're able to think through this stuff, you cl things click really quick. And then you, you're already deciding to approach differently. To try something new. You literally, you needed somebody to talk to. That's all. You needed somebody to talk to who could take a look at things and, and get you straightened out with yourself. And you are getting straightened out with yourself. So these sessions is just you needing someone to talk to just to get you straightened out with yourself. Because you're very, you can be very self-sufficient. You are much lighter on your feet, you're running, you're wanting to get out of this place. I tell you, you're free already. You have to see that, though, for yourself. 
And once you say I'm free, then this scene just disappears and it turns into some new place, new experience. Okay, so we agree that you'll say um, that everything that I have been up until this point is not who I am moving forward. And I'm ready to open my eyes to a new way of seeing life, perceiving life, perceiving myself in life. And therefore to stand or experience um, life that are, is around me in a new way. Like it, it's this statement is removing you from that place. Removing that place from every from everything that you are. Because you aren't anything that you'd ever been before. Because at every moment you're a totally new person, you know. You're in a much brighter place and you're actually... You're, you're kind of communing with some really like Mother God type energy. Um, in a heavenly looking space, but it's got lots of purple colors in it. And you're, you're talking to a Mother God figure. She's just very patient, very empathic. She's like a, a mother, like a M Mother Mary, you know. She's very, very loving, very kind, very like empathetic, compassionate, patient, a good listener, wise, a healer. Because you have that inside yourself as well. Mm. It's a really good place to, to stop. Like, this has been such a meaningful experience for me. Thank you so much, Linda Love. Thank you for sharing as well. <laughs> I'm just in a whole other way right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you one more time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and uh, for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all, and have a great day.